Hey, what's going on? My name is Coyote, and I'm here to help you out with your Season of Discovery adventures. I'm a longtime WoW player, been playing retail for quite some time, and I recently got into Season of Discovery, and I'm really loving it. It is probably a breath of fresh air to the game, even though it's kind of a different version of a game that's been out for 20-some-odd years. But there are questions that people are having because there's a lot of new players that are coming to the game, and they're not going to retail they're actually coming to Season of Discovery. It's a great tale. It's a very simple gameplay, and people are getting into it, but there's questions that keep popping up, and I keep seeing, and sometimes there's not a right answer right away. So that's what I'm here to help out. If you find any interest out of this video, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more videos as I kind of do this stuff and see the questions out there, and I'll be giving some helpful tips and hints to everything that we come across. Today, I want to talk about your first rune why you can't leave your starting area without getting it, and you don't even need the quest to do that. As you can see, I am uh, I'm, I got a level 25 mage, I got a level 25 druid, so I've been playing the game a decent little bit. I'm working on some other side projects from hunters to paladins, warlocks, a little bit of everything. This game has a lot to offer, and I'm not just alliance for you horde members. I am a for the horde kind of guy. I got a couple of horde characters. But the big thing about your first ruin is, is you don't want to leave the, your starting area without getting it. And you don't need the quest. And I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to do two characters. I'm going to start off with a just a human warrior, Coyote. We're just going to call it Grunt for the purposes of this video. Coyote Grunt. I'm going to log in. A lot of people want to leave their starting areas, and that's absolutely fine. Because there's a lot of resources that are fought over. Uh, but you can't leave until after you get your first ruins, unless you're a druid, unless you're a druid. More on that here in a bit. All right, so going to skip this. I highly recommend if you've never seen those videos, watch them through. They're really good. So normally you'll get the quest at level two from your class trainer after you get the quest to go see them. And they're like, hey, go find this ruin. And it's your introduction to the new ruins. But uh, thankfully, I'm actually not on a bad layer right now. There's plenty of wolves to kill but as you can see people are kind of camping out the kobold vermin that is a normal thing for these starting out quest but as a whatever class you are you don't need to get your class quest to go get your ruin as you can see i'm just i'm going to run straight to the back where the warrior rune is i know where this one is because i have a human warrior uh shout out to the humans uh, if I had to be any race on the Alliance side, I really like being human. I like the story of people that aren't particularly good at anything overcoming great obstacles. It's just like one of my favorite stories in literature. But as you can see, I'm going to walk back here. And this goes for any, any ruin that is with your class. I'm going to actually go over and show you a Gnome Warlock next. And uh, it's been a hot minute, but I'll do a Horde one too to show you the same deal. So... You're going to come back here, and there's this chest right here. That's where you're, that's the warrior rune, right there. You cannot get this rune in, if I was an alliance and I ran all the way to Dunmoro uh, to go be there and do the Ironforge uh, starting area, I would not be able to get the first rune uh, from there. It is race specific from what I have seen. You, somebody can correct me in the, uh, in the comments below, but from what I've seen, you have to get it from your race. Uh, we're going to use Questy to kind of like help prove the point. Uh, see, if it was there, it would be down in this corner. There's a little lockbox you have to go to as a warrior to get it, uh, but it's not. But after you get that one, you can kind of go wherever you want to go to that starting area and do those ruins. Uh, so maybe, like I said, maybe you are you don't like the Stormwind starting area. Maybe you want to go hang out with the dwarves and the gnomes, or maybe you want to go all the way to uh, Teldrassil and start out here. And look, all the ruins are right here. If you're a new player, highly recommend the Questy app. All right, it's going to help you out find those ruins. If you're an old player, you can download Questy. I do uh, for different playthroughs and stuff like that because I like to track when certain quests appear. But it now shows the ruins. And I'm hoping that they're not going to put the immediate new ruins in Season 2 coming February 8th in there right away. So we're going to bounce out her because I only have so many spots. We're going to delete. Do, 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 do. Oop, I can't even spell delete. That's because I'm an idiot. All right, so now uh, I'm going to show you uh, the gnomes one real quick. And then I want to go ahead and we're going to call this one Coyote Hell Bye. Because I have 
Coyote Hell is already my warlock that I'm working on. But, i going to skip that. Really good story for the gnomes. They're starting Ruin. Literally, walking over here, really good. If you want to play a, a new starting character, Warlock, really good uh, for this one. Uh, I started off with Mage just because I played Warlock for so long on retail and I'm just a little burnt out on it. But I'm actually enjoying it in Season of Discovery. But you come over here, Rockjaw Footlocker. See, don't need the quest. Don't need the quest to come get these runes. And you can get it. You'll need, uh, you'll need something to put it on. But you get it. Rune of Haunting. Really good for leveling. Does a lot of initial damage. Keeps you healed. Really good. Uh, I really like the Haunt Rune for what it is. We're going to do a Horde one. The big difference, though, like I said, the ones that you're not going to be able to really leave that area for a little bit is going to be the Druid runes because they're kind of specific to the two races that can be Druid, your Night Elves and your Torrens. So when you're there, expect them to be kind of, expect to be in that starting area for a little bit. Now, you could get a buddy to come in and help you get those runes. I would suggest a high-level priest uh, because there's healing runes that you're going to need. And that way you can kind of go through and do that. So let's go ahead and I'll show you it's the same thing. I'm trying to remember where there's an easy rune for. Um, uh, I haven't done a. Uh, it's just we're going to do Coyote Grunt. We'll do another warrior just because. Good old orcs. Uh, the, the druid runes are kind of specific to the area. a high level priest because there's a couple of runes that you're going to need a healer to do. Uh, well, there's one rune that you'll need a healer to do, and it really helps having them out. So, Furious Thunder. This one, in that box right up there. A quick uh, fun thing, if you just, you just got to go all the way around, jump down is the easiest way I found to get to it. Uh, nothing really attacks you, just doot, 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 uh, really helps out. That's it. That is my tip. If you enjoyed all, any of these tips, make sure you drop a subscription down in there. I'm going to be coming out with more Season of Discovery tips because there's a lot of new players coming to the game that they just don't know what's going on. And I want to help you out. I want to make you have a lot of fun in Season of Discovery, the same amount of fun that I've been having, kind of discovering different things, working with new people. There is, this is the classic feeling of wow that I really miss, of where camaraderie and teamwork is, is all about it. So, from, if you enjoyed this, like I said, drop a subscription, and I'll catch you in the next one.